Hey everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude and I am here to review The Guilt Trip. Alright, so The Guilt Trip stars Seth Rogen and Barbra Streisand. It's about when Barbra Streisand plays Seth Rogen's mom. She goes on the road trip with Seth Rogen. She plays this mother who just nags and Seth Rogen, he's just he just can't stand her. You know, he goes nuts. And that's all you need to know. I missed The Guilt Trip uh, last December. So I didn't get to see it until I rented it from Netflix. And the reviews for this film, they really were not that good. So I came into the guilt trip with basically, I would say, mild expectations. You know, I just didn't expect anything special from it. But coming out of the guilt trip, now that I've finally seen it, I can honestly say it wasn't that bad in my opinion. It really wasn't. I was entertained by this film. It's not the best film ever. It's not a memorable film by any means. But... It's just not a terrible film, in my opinion. It just helped me get past it at the time. I really like Seth Rogen. I enjoyed Seth Rogen here. You know, Seth Rogen's just good at playing Seth Rogen, but he was enjoyable. Barbara Streisand as Seth Rogen's mom was enjoyable too. And seeing these two collab together was pretty interesting. And Barbara Streisand, she just nags Seth Rogen, you know. She just has to nag him about everything. And I'm sure in terms of the sons or the daughters, we could all relate to that because I'm sure there are moms that will nag you constantly, right? So I think the guilt trip does do a good job at uh, delivering the relatable sense into reality. And there are some funny moments in this film, I'm not going to lie. There were actually some moments in this film where I actually did get good laughs out of it. And the... Um, and you know the whole mother-son story between Barbra Streisand and Seth Rogen? It's nice. It's a nice story. It's really nice. You know, Seth Rogen, he can't stand her at first, but then, you know, they talk it out. Uh, but then, you know, as the movie goes on, he starts to care about his mom, and he starts to love going on this road trip with her. And I just think it's very sweet, and I just think it worked well for the story. The problems that the guilt trip does have is that Seth Rogen, he plays a major asshole in this film. The way he just treats his mom is just, it was just unacceptable. And he brought her on the road trip, of course, for selfish reasons. So he's a D-bag to his mom. Especially this one scene. There was actually this one scene where he actually shouts, tells his mom, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, dude. I don't care what problems you have with your mom. She gave birth to you. You should appreciate her and respect her. I just didn't appreciate that scene. Also, the film runs too long in my opinion. The middle portion for a while, I got a little bored with this film to be honest. Barbara Streisand, although I know she, she just wants to do what's best for Seth Rogen, uh, her nagging does get a little annoying after a while. And it's overall just not the most memorable film ever. But overall, The Guilt Trip actually wasn't that bad in my opinion. It's not something I'm going to remember. But I'm happy to give The Guilt Trip 2.5 out of 4 stars. Subscribe to my channel, comment your honest opinion on this film, like and share this video, follow me on Facebook, and Twitter. I hope you enjoyed this and don't forget that I will always have Taga Power!